by the way, when we talk about democracy, and we talk about the fact that brave men and women throughout our history have fought and died to defend democracy, it is important to say a word about those Republican governors and legislatures who are trying to suppress the vote all over this country. Now, I've been involved in a lot of elections. Sometimes I've lost, sometimes I've won. But it has never occurred to me to figure out a way to deny the vote to people who disagree with me and would vote against me. I regard it as an act of grotesque political cowardice. cowardice for people to not have the guts to go out in a free and fair election, to think the only way they can win is to make it harder for low-income people or young people or people of color or seniors to vote. And my suggestion to those people, if you are afraid of a fair election, get another job. So if I have anything to say about it, and I will, if elected president, there will be one law for 50 states in this country, and that is if you're 18 years of age, you are registered to vote. End of discussion. Let me tell you what I want to see. I want to see this country have one of the highest voting turnouts of any country, not one of the lowest voter turnouts. And I want to see anybody here tonight, regardless of their political views, if you want to run for office, I want you to be able to run for office without having to beg campaign contributions from wealthy people. That is why I support public funding of elections.